Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of the Power World series. <laughs> you can tell that I just loaded into the world because, well, all of my friends have just spawned in in, <laughs> in unison and started going to work. Except for the penguin and the chicken taking their sweet time. Got anything better to do? Yeah, I thought so. Get to work. What about you? Shouldn't you be grazing? What's the lift button? Mm -hmm. V. Right. Come on, Chimkin. You're gonna pop out some eggs. Right over here. You just ranch, graze. There you go. The AI gets a little derpy when you've just started a world. Hmm, berries. Wonderful. Oh, I can increase my capture power. And so I did. Now what do I have to do to get my base to get stronger? Primitive furnace. What, I thought I already did that. I thought I already did that. Am I wrong? Hmm, primitive furnace. Oh, I guess not. We'll put it over here, next to the chest and near the ore. I really did think that this had already been... I really thought that this was already done. <laughs> Interesting. Well, these punk, help them build that. I'm gonna grab whatever this is. Why is there stone on the floor? What the hell? Why? Tell me why. Suppose I'll help finish up the last part. Just a little bit of assistance. Don't want to help them too much. Otherwise, they'll never learn how to do it on their own, you know? Now, I'm sure I need ore. My accidental bars. The best way I can think of to get that is... Well, he literally came over and did it as I was mentioning it. <laughs> Some magical timing. I need more of this guy. He is the only one right now who can get ore. You know, apart from me, I can do it too. But, you know, I'd rather not have to do it myself. The more I can get them to do my work for me, the better. It's a delegation. And just having one? Hmm, not great. As you can see, he hit the stone for about a minute and just gave up. <laughs> He's already taken a break. Poor worker. All right, the next thing after this base upgrade is high quality workbench. How do we make that? What else was there? Medieval medicine and deploying a pal. That's easy enough. Oh, we have another Tombat. Get in there, buddy. Go. Do the thing. No, you're, you're going to the other. Well, I guess I still need stone, but fine. I see how it is. I'm going to need many of them. Let's see what it takes to make a high quality workbench. Where is that workbench? High quality. Meat cleaver. I need that. For sure. Oh, I can already make it. Must have gone on one hell of a catching spree in the previous episode. Quite high on the levels. Ah, but for that we need ingots and nails, which are just ingots, but crafted into something. So, hmm, I have to get metal. If only it was right next to my base. <laughs> Gotta eat some berries. Hmm, <clears throat> berries. My damn weapon broke immediately. <laughs> Got like five swings in. Come on. Luckily, it's nice and cheap to repair. Mm, mm mm I do love this. One of my favorite things with survival games is when you can automate things. Looking at this, this is very automated. They do all the work. I get all the benefits. Hooray. Uh, having the Lee's Punk around the base doesn't help, so I guess I'll set this thing? Go? Log? Yeah, there you go. The Aikthir Deer has level 2 logging, so it should do it faster than the monkeys. At least I'm pretty certain that's how it works. We're gonna have to get ourselves a whole bunch of ore. Too bad it takes so long to beat this rock down by myself. Think I might have to dilly-dally around the base until nighttime and then go on a wild spree of catching those tom bats. Oh, actually, an important piece would be getting the Aikthir deer. Would make me more useful in combat and, oh, actually there was armor there. I could use some of that, I'm very plushy. Just takes leather, consider it done. Set that up to craft now. Leather, leather, leather. Wait, wait, what? Why can't I craft it? Is the pelt made in the high quality workbench? Is that how this cookie crumbles? It is, of course. I see how it is. Well, we're gonna need at least one fire pal to cook some of that business. Suppose we have more wood than stone, so goodbye, Tansy. Especially this one. Get out of here. You're a slacker. This Fox Parks has artisan, which means if he's cooking at the furnace, he's gonna do good. And he shall cook at the furnace. I need many, many ingots, so get going, buddy. Do the work. There we go. Spit fire. <laughs> he's just spitting hot bars into that furnace and cooking the ore. That's how it's done. I really hope there is an upgrade to this pickaxe soon. I don't remember what level that is. I'm hoping it's not too far away. Metal. 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 Wow. Am I just not seeing it? I probably passed by it. I'm sure there's a metal pickaxe. Oh, I already learned it. Oh. <laughs> how very like me. If I can craft that, that would be ideal. And it took about five ingots. 
right here. Five ingots. Oh god, I've got all these eggs on me and nothing to do with them. They're heavy. Should probably make a second chest just for those, because they're really starting to take up a lot of space. The eggs are about ten pounds a piece, which is excessive, to say the least. So it's best to get these out of the way. Into a different chest that probably won't be interacted with as much. Ah, the fun of keeping a sorted base. Alright, that's all resolved. Now, do I need a high quality workbench just to craft the new pickaxe? I do. Which means, before I can even craft that pickaxe or that bench, I'm gonna need even more ingots. I believe it was 15 for the high quality workbench. So, it's ore time. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> it is so slow getting this ore. I broke down a rock and a half and I got 45. Takes two for one ingot, so I only got about 20 ore out of that entire endeavor. Yikes, I really need some of those tombats. More than anything, I need at least 15 ingots for this high quality workbench. Another nine to go. I set those 10 nails to craft over here and it looks like my penguin is very, very slowly working on it. You know what? Let's get this guy? Maybe? Maybe he'll do better. Who knows? Do I have anything else that has better handicrafting? Because, ooh, wee, that is slow. I've got a big lamb ball. That's something. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I gonna have to craft these myself? Help him a little bit? See if we can't speed up the process, at least to monochrome. I need at least ten nails to get this party started. Just me and my lizard. I chose a weird angle to interact with this uh, table. It looks like the lizard is just phasing his hand in and out of my ass. It's really uncomfortable. I'm just gonna move over here now. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> this really is slow. At least they craft two at a time. Like it says two out of four here, but when the bar fills up, it'll actually give me two of them. Which you'll see right about now. There, two. Now I am going to need more, but that's not the priority. Those take ingots. Ingots serve a better purpose. Setting up this workbench so I can start moving up a tier. A tier in everything. Where exactly? Right here. You will get up here with the rest of the line of workbench business. <laughs> yes, little workers. You know, I don't even need to help. They do so, <laughs> they do so much more than me just because they're doing it as a group. I don't know why there, but two of them just gave up right at the end. Very weird. Alright, the absolute priority is getting this metal pickaxe so we can get more metal faster. Which, the ingots for that should be... Are you taking a break? Taking a break, excuse me? Who do you think you are? It's interesting. I don't know what signifies when they're going to take a break, because he's only at 80. If we hit F here. Right here where my mouse is. This is the sanity stat of your pals. And this is supposed to be what determines when they take breaks or if they don't want to work. This one's only down to 84, but he's taking a break. Everyone at my base is taking a break. It's very weird. Very weird. Hmm. Well, that should be enough ingots to get a new pickass. <laughs> That's interesting. Because I assigned the Lee's Punk to this table, he's just standing around, and if you look above his head, it says, Waiting to craft. Right there. Waiting to craft. So he'll only... <laughs> He'll only craft things right there at that table. Interesting. Well, I'll craft things at this table instead. I'll even help a little. It's too bad you can't have multiple things crafting with you during this. It's only one pal and you. One and one. There we go. Metal pickass. It's weird. It's just... <laughs> This lizard has some weird habit of just covering his face. Why do you do this? Very strange. Hey, monkey. You're gonna get thrown. Because I want to. Taking breaks and such. How dare you. Now what else did I need? Medieval workbench. Medieval workbench? Right here. We need five nails. That can be done. Probably. Maybe. Nope, I can do two. <laughs> That's something. Basically I need more ingots. And now that I've gotten... Speaking of which, I gotta replace this. Now that I've gotten a new pickass, this shouldn't take anywhere near as long. 89, 88, 82. Okay, so this metal pickass seems to do about double the damage of what the old one did. And I'm pretty sure there's an upgraded version of this as well. It's called like a pal metal or something. So, eventually here, getting ore will be much, much faster. But it seems like we are going to be stuck at this metal tier for quite a while. So we're gonna have to get used to this speed. Which, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> 
god. <laughs> oh, there's my orb. This is going to take a while. I did end up playing with my brother on a server, I think I had mentioned prior, or on a stream some time ago, but we were playing on two or three times all the settings, so this is going to be a different kind of experience, that's for sure. Let's get him crafting my armor, and then maybe one of the others will pick this up. I need more nails. Never hurts to have more. Bit of a crafting episode, I guess. Wasn't my intent, but here we are. I do find it interesting. Oh, whoa. Those usually have another smaller phase after that. Maybe I'm tripping. I do find it interesting that you can only cook in the furnace using your pals at the base. Now, there is a harness you can get for these little guys where you pick them up. <laughs> and, you, and you use them like a flamethrower, which is awesome. But you can't even do that to cook your own ore. You have to just assign one at the base and hope that they, well, properly do their job. Which sometimes they might not because, well, Power World AI. It's glorious. I've seen these things literally get stuck on thin air. Like there's a pole that doesn't actually exist that they can't walk around or through. It's very interesting. Other times, their AI seems fairly impressive. Hmm. Where is the sun? There's no actual time marker. There we go. After the sun hits around this rock here, we'll probably start going around and looking for more of those tombats so we don't have to do this ourselves. Because if we can get them doing all of our dirty work, then that'd be great. Truly. Because I'd much rather be running around, exploring, finding new things, making friends. <laughs> then doing what I'm doing now, which is mining, collecting resources. The hope is that this will only be necessary in the early phases of the game, but we'll see. I'm sure there's other resources I'll have to think about as well. I know there's sulfur and other such materials to make gunpowder. And I believe the other resource is called quartz. Yes, there's quartz, sulfur, and coal. You just find coal out in the world. You can't make it yourself. You can make charcoal, which is very weird. It should be a substitute. At least I think. But what do I know? I'm not a game dev. Hey, Fox Barks. Cook. Cook. I'm right here. Cook. If I if I pat you, does that make you happy enough to... Hold on. Pet. Look at that. Look at that. All happy. These air pats. These good vibes. Because I... <laughs> Hold on a second. I want to point this out because I had mentioned it in a prior episode. I don't actually touch them, I just send good vibes. It's like a Reiki session. Now are you happy enough to just cook cook my damn ore? There you go. At a boy or girl or what what is this one? It's not showing. Until otherwise proven it's a boy. Just a little bit more ore. More ore. During the night time I'll get Tombat so that they can get ore. It's an ore based day. This entire <laughs> This entire episode is going to be about ore, basically. For a moment, I thought that Fox Sparks was resting again. I was about to get very upset -y. My spaghetti. Another ore vein down. Stored in here. It's another 30 ingots it should turn into. We'll cancel this craft and set up the rest of them. Boom, 57. We're getting somewhere. Now, as far as I know, I know this looks rather empty after all the damage I've done, but as far as I know, the ore should respawn within a day or two. One or two day cycles. That's why I want to get a bunch of those Tombats. That guy can't see him past all the HUD crap, but... I want a bunch of him, because they'll collect this ore once a day, and then get off to doing whatever it is that they normally do. Like transporting things. Like that one is just repeatedly picking up berries and putting them in chests. Which, hey, that's fine. Oh, this seems like a good enough time to start exploring. How many balls do I have? Should have thought of that. I have 12 normal balls and I have one mega sphere. Neat. Ooh, armor. Good job, Lee Spunk. Now work on the nails. Get that done. Ichthyr. I need one leather. Crap, I just used that on my armor. <laughs> uh, oh well. Let's see. I have a common shield. Do I need anything else? Three shot bow. Could be good. Do I already have one of those actually? Let me check. I have an old bow. Let's craft this. Just takes a little bit of fiber, wood, and stone. Oh god, this is slow. Penguin, come here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the little the little flippers, the, the wings there. How it just kind of like waves them around. I don't know, it's adorable. The pals have so much character. More than you would think, considering there's over a hundred of them. 
Granted, it waving it around directly at my ass is a little awkward. I'll move over here. There. Now it's like it's struggling to reach the table, but it's trying its damnedest to help. Frickin' adorable. Look at how happy it is. Yep, you definitely helped, Bigwood. All the help. Oh, interesting. I can't make pal spheres at the normal workbench. Or, sorry, the high-quality workbench. I can only make it at the normal one. Hmm. And I would like to. Sure. We'll make these six. Get to that, Lee's Punk, and I'd like to know why it says I don't have any wood. Oh, they're just not moving it to the chest. There's 44 right there. Whoa. 190 stone. Oh, I'd like to point that out as well. The devs, the people who made this game, made a nice little update very quickly after its release. Astonishingly quickly. That made it so that when you're thoroughly over-encumbered, you can still move, which is great. You can drop this old bow, don't need it. Triple shot bow. There we go. Speaking of which, oh, I have like 300 arrows. I'm good for a while. Let's eat some food and get to the real goal of this episode, which is finding those tombats. We just have to ask the question, where do we expect them to be? They seem to, from prior experience, have some kind of purple glow about them. I was hoping I could have a flyer before I started looking for specific tames. Specific pals, friends, workers. What's that? Tansy? Mm, interesting. Maybe we should come across this bridge. What is that? That looks kind of fire-based. Do I have a... I have a parachute. Okay. We're gonna go for a nice long jump. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, pulled that a little early, but it works for me. <laughs> Love the dramatic slide on the way down. Uh, no, that's a Nightwing. Not what I'm looking for. I could catch it, but... Uh, not much benefit right now. Ooh, I see a shiny. That's a... <laughs> a big depresso. The saddest boy. You're gonna be mine for sure. <laughs> This Depresso should have been the real mascot of the series. Oh, well, let's see. Lee's Punk number one. Go. Let's see what kind of damage you can do. Are you just gonna stand there? Is that, is that your combat tactic? What if I put you over here? Aggressive. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's use this triple shot bow as well. Nice. Now we're talking. Alright, put the Lee's Punk away. Now it's just me and the Depresso in the dark. What is that? Oh god, that looks scary. And 48%. That's a pretty good catch rate. 74. Yeah. Oh, and two Tombats. Now we're talking. Oh, sorry, one Tombat. I was confused. Yikes. This thing just rolled up behind me while I was catching the Depresso. Hmm. Should we stop here? Yes. Now it's just me, the bow, and the Tombat. Balls. 47%. Again. Pretty good rates. And we got him. Hooray. Now we just need to look around for more of that. Although that one just kind of snuck up on me, I didn't even have to look for him. Not that I'm complaining. Ooh, is that that shiny little blue thing right there? Free Pal Sphere. Uh, those ones are Daydream. That's not the objective. What we want is the Tombat. Also, I have a level up, apparently. Into weight. Still trying to hit at least a thousand. Although with the fact that you can move around while encumbered now, hmm. I might have to take a different opinion on the weight stat. Where, oh where, could the Tombats be? Hello, I'd like to be your friends. Wait, see in the distance there, those red markers? I guess there's Depressos trying to take me on. I don't, ouch, I don't know why, but I guess, I guess I'll just take them out. Actually, you know, I could catch them. I think they can mine. And you get XP for it. Oh! My Lee's Punk killed one of them. Poor, poor Depresso. Well, we got one of them. Ray. Now I gotta look around for more Tombats. Where, oh where, could the Tombats be? Hookrates? No. I don't need those right now. I need me a Tombat. Or Ted. Ooh, there's one. I see it. Near the beginning-ish? Sort of. Nice long jump into the water. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I didn't even angle my camera down to see if there was ground beneath me. I was very close to it. <laughs> the nonchalance I'm taking in this uh, particular series is honestly a little entertaining, considering I've been playing a hardcore Seven Days series for nearly a hundred episodes now, and, well, <laughs> I take a very different approach during hardcore playthroughs. With this, I'll jump off cliffs without even thinking about it. Ouch. This is why we use that shield. Ouch. Again. Oh! No, don't don't kill it. Good. A little bit more. Okay. Balls. 43%. What? But he's almost down. Why is it lower? 
Uh oh, that was a waste of a ball. It missed. It looks like the Tombat does about a fifth of my health in damage, which is not great, but it's not terrible. And we have another one. That's, what, two Tombats and one Knight? Not bad. They can wholesale replace the cats, the Cativa, because they're just better miners and transporters. Oh, more Depressos. Also, as far as I understand, these Depressos are also... Catch him, 66%. Ooh, free Palsphere. And immediately it's counteracted by the fact that he broke out. Come on. You and me, buddy, we're gonna be good friends. And by that I mean you're gonna work for me, and you're gonna love it. Alright, back to base. A fairly productive day. And this day has been episode 6 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.